SLPS is an interface between Simulink and PSPICE AD. It integrates your circuit level details into your system level design and lets you perform code simulation. Requirements to run SLPS are MathWorks products 13 or higher, which is MATLAB 6.5 with Simulink 5.0 or higher, and you need ORCAD 10.0 with Service Pack 2 or higher with Capture and PSPICE AD. If you already have those tools, then you're ready to purchase SLPS and benefit from the integration. Currently, you have system design and circuit design separated. Debugging a system as a whole is typically difficult and is usually done with a prototype, which means you can be running through a lot of trials to get the proper results. Modeling a system level together with an electrical model will get you more realistic results in your simulation stage, reducing the number of prototypes and therefore saving costs. Now why not use Simulink to accomplish this? Simulink deals with signal data as one-way data. It doesn't take into account effects such as reflection and circuits. Simulink models are also ideal. They don't model electrical characteristics very well, such as nonlinearity and delay. Such things aren't accounted for, and there really are no electrical elements available in Simulink that behave as they should. Together, we find that these two tools really benefit from each other. Simulink has a strong system level design base and a large user base. PSPICE is the industry standard for analog circuit simulation. Putting these tools together, the benefits of PSPICE into Simulink, gives you two powerful tools which will help you solve your problems sooner and with less cost. Here we see a breakdown of the interface. The interface is launched from the Simulink window. You will have an SLPS block that you can place into your design. Once placed in your design, double clicking on it will bring up the SLPS settings window. It will link to a capture project file. Therefore, this SLPS window is basically a piece by subcircuit right in your Simulink flow. You point to the project file from here. The open capture button allows you to browse for it. From within there, you will be able to select one of your piece by circuit files. These are your simulation settings which you already set up in PSPICE. You can select the one you'd like to use. They appear like this in Capture. Here, you choose input and output sources that you'd like to use. By hitting the Select button, you bring up the In-Out Select list, which shows all the available components in your piece by circuitry. This eliminates the need to remember the names of the signals. You can just browse through them live from the piece by window.